Good day everyone. Today we're doing second distillation on our Moonshine Steel Small Distiller Steelman variant. Very useful device, very simple, very easy to use. You can uh, see in this video with second distillation everything is very simple. So we have uh, our raw spirit, raw alcohol which we got in the last video and uh, let's take a look of how much we got and what's the pure. Yep, as you can see here, we got almost 6 liters of product. Yep, so we will take a hydrometer. Wow, we get more than 40%. Let's take another one. We got 41% pure very nice we can add like a liter or maybe half a liter of water just to make it uh, a little bit less and maybe it will be just a little bit easier to control on our moonshine still but i will not add anything so let's fill our boiler and get ready So let's speak about water management. As you can see, we got four pipes. Uh, inlet for water is uh, down pipe on the condenser. Uh, up pipe is uh, like for out on a first uh, distillation, or it can be uh, installed a jumper, or like maybe easy to understand is bridge for water, which will which will travel to down pipe of the mini deflagmator and upper pipe of our mini deflagmator is outlet so cold water hot water out of our moonshine steel yep that's pretty much it So, next step is we taking our thermometer and inserting in our seam line so we can see temperature and control and understand what's going on in our moonshine seal, what we are taking, what we are having, like uh, temperature of four shorts or maybe temperature of uh, hearts and is it like stable or is it uh, grows like too fast maybe uh, like depending on what type of uh, product and what type of uh, final product you are willing to get you can control by controlling uh, water and heating so let's take a look and uh, let's turn on our induction cooker so this one is for the heads this one is for the product and we need a silicone hose nope, that, that's too long so what we're doing right now is just heating up our boiler and getting ready to take off our four shots and heads in some countries uh, like in russia or in some european countries we don't separate four shots and heads that's all heads for us so we will take five or seven percent of absolute spirit yes and maybe we can like do not uh, look after this percentage we can just uh, smell it yep uh, you need to understand what your product is so in the first drops you take a smell here yeah? and in the time you will take uh, your opportunity here <laughs> yeah, to come and take a smell yeah when it's be done you will be obviously obviously understand that it's fine and you uh, you can uh, like turn to uh, getting final product like hearts anyway now we're waiting get some water 
to our seal. How much power do you need for taking of heads four shots? I'd, I would suggest you take just 800 watts. That's uh, pretty much needed temperature uh, power for your steel, for this steel actually. Uh, also, you can adjust by regulation the water because our mini deflagmator pre and uh, decreases that amount of vapor which comes to the steam line and, up and uh, after to the condenser. So, I hope you understand me. It's very easy. You will sh I'll show you like in a minute. So we have not a lot of product. We got our pipe warmer. So we lower our power to the 800 watts. That's enough to take your four shots and heads on this moonshine steel because as, as I said already, this is small one, which you can like use as any uh, cooker you want. You can use it in your kitchen at any cooker, small one, gas one, no matter. Uh, this is like very small moonshine steel for those, as I said before, who don't rush. Yep, our steam line is heating up. You can see, we can see on this uh, temperature. I will show you in a minute. Yep, so we need uh, one and maybe three drops a second. That will be more than enough to take our heads and four shorts. If you want to take your heads, four shorts a little bit faster, you can adjust it by decreasing amount of water inside of your steel. So the deflagmator will take uh, less water and uh, this device will uh, increase that amount of vapor which will come to your condenser. Or you can decrease amount of power on your heating source, electric heater, gas, any type of you're using, this still can work with anything. As you can see, that's more than enough to take our heads. Take a smile. Yep, good ones. I mean, <laughs> they smell bad. <laughs> okay, we need to take about 150, 170 milliliters of heads. And after that, we need to take a smell, need to understand what it is, and if it needs to be more, take just maybe a little bit more, about 50 milliliters, uh, because we have like small amount of liquid and a small amount of uh, alcohol inside of a boiler. That's why the amount of uh, takes is a little bit small. Anyway, take a smell, check it, and if it's okay, we go to the taking our hearts.
So we got 100 milliliters. We can check by the smell. Yep, needs to be a little more. Maybe we take another 100 milliliters. All right, we got almost 200 milliliters. Let's check. Yes, much better. Very good. But I think there's a little bit more, so we will wait until we got more, uh, about maybe 50 milliliters. Yeah, taking another 50 milliliters is not necessary, but everyone do and make his own drinks like he really wants. So I really think that just a little bit more head and that will be enough. Yeah. So we take our parrot. We use hydrometer 70 to 100 percentage. We put it in a parrot. Add some power, 1300 watt is more than enough. By the time, while we wait, we can drain to the bottle our heads. Uh, why do I collect them? I clean stuff. So now we wait when the hydrometer will go up, as you can see, product, oops, yep, smells good. Yeah, really, really nice. We got about 92-93 percentage pure. So let's check temperature of our product. So now we're getting our product, it is pure and nice and let's talk about where, when we need to finish our, uh, getting our hearts getting, and get to the tails. Uh, I would do recommend you to finish getting hearts at temperature 93, 94, 95 degrees at uh, your boiler. So when you get to this temperature you need to just change your pot yep, and get your tails and add them to the other distillation if you will have it in the future just collect them if you don't want to collect you can go to Sid Savage I think it's called in English uh, you can drain it yep, uh, and just forget about it if, if you have time and uh, bare enough time to just make a new one there's absolutely no problem and uh, of course you can do it another way there's a lot of techniques on our websites on the internet on YouTube and uh, you can do as 
anything you want until you like fine with your product. So now we have 83 degrees of Celsius inside of our boiler. Over here we got 92, 91. Very, very good. So continue our distillation. All right, we're getting to the temperature 92, 93, and I think we can switch to the tails. Yep, the product is fine, but I feel that it's very close to change. Yep, so I, I will take another pot. So we got liter and uh, 800 milliliters of final product. Final pure is about 91%. Right now is 91-90% of alcohol. So, what we're doing right now for getting tails out of our boiler, we just uh, add some power. Yeah, maybe about a thousand and a half, two thousand watts. And just getting it with a high speed, I will use them in the next distillation, or maybe put it on a rectification column. So we got nice final product, ninety-one percent of alcohol, uh, about uh, almost two liters very easy to use as you see so uh, I have big induction cooker this is like very powerful this is maximum power is 3500 watts but as you see I used only 8 watt, eight, 800 watts and one and a three uh, kilowatt so this still can be used at any uh, induction cooker at any usual cooker electric, electric uh, heater very very easy and you get a nice spirit so if you have any questions if you, you will have questions about uh, shipping from outside of russia we we'll be pleased to answer anything uh, for you you can write in a comment you can uh, write in our gmail or email messenger feel free anyway hope you uh, like this video, hope you subscribe to our channel and wish you good and tasty drinks.